Are you stuck in a practice rut? Does it seem like no matter where you look for help, all of the videos about practice just look like this? My name is Bob. I will be showing you some basic horn warm up <sighs> today, such as slurs and long tones and We've all been there, and I'm here to tell you it doesn't have to be that way. In fact, what if I told you that practice could even be fun? What? I propose that there is a way to unboring your practice, and I am going to prove it to you. Let's gamify this. Welcome to today's segment of Practice Blah to Practice Ta-da, where we show you how to turn your practice into a game. Today, our contestant is facing a particularly challenging passage from Brahms' Academic Festive Overture. We have prepared three very special games to help the contestant successfully navigate this passage and come out the other side of this practice session with flying colors. Game number one will be... Beating! No, no, not beating. Beating, like beads on a bracelet. The rules are simple. Starting at the beginning of the passage, the contestant will start with one note and slowly add on notes one at a time, just like adding beads to a bracelet. If the contestant misses the notes or cracks, she is not allowed to move on to the next note. She must play the current set of notes correctly three times in a row before moving on to the next note. Are you ready, contestant? And you get it. close. Let's see if she can play those four notes correctly three times in a row and move on to the fifth note. She's done it, folks. All ten notes in a row. Well, now that we've achieved note accuracy, it's time to move on to something a little bit more challenging. Let's up the ante a bit, shall we? It's time for game number two, Rhythm Remix. Using the same passage, the contestant will attempt to play it in its entirety, but using different rhythms. This allows the contestant to approach the music in a way that is different than how they normally might. Let's see how she does. Contestant, are you ready? And begin. Yes, she's done it, and what's this? 
It looks like she's going to up the tempo. I don't believe it, folks. What an upset. Fantastic. Absolutely. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for our final game, the contestant will face the ultimate challenge. It's time for game number three, Rep Rally. Now that the contestant has achieved rhythmic and pitch accuracy, it's time to see if she can play through the entire passage without any mistakes. Each rep is comprised of three correct playthroughs of the passage. The contestant must complete three reps of three to clear this final round. For every rep she completes, she will receive a gold star as a reward. But if she fumbles at any point during a rep, she will be set back to zero and must begin that rep again. Let's give her some support, folks. Contestant, are you ready for the final round? Begin. Oh. Ooh, it's back to zero then for rep one. for the contestant. And on to rep number two. Oh, looks like she's having difficulty here. Once again, she will need to begin rep number two from zero. Will she get it this time, folks? And there it is, rep number two complete and another gold star. Congratulations, Miss Contestant. And now, for rep number three, the final rep. Congratulations, Miss Contestant. You have come out of this practice session victorious. Wow, what a show that was, folks. What do you think? Did we successfully take this contestant's practice from blah to ta-da today? How do you get creative with your practice? Leave a comment to let us know. And remember to tune in next week for more exciting practice adventures. See you next time. Add on notes, slowly add on notes. If she fumbles at 